<clears throat> we are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Hi, everybody. It's uh, three o'clock Eastern time here, Monday, uh, January 31st. It's the uh, final hour of trading into our uh, into our day. And can we complain about today? Not not yet. Uh, it looks pretty good. We have had a very solid, uh, uh, let's say after the first two hours, we've had a pretty good solid gain here. Um, as we had mentioned this morning, if you were with me on the early show, we did talk about how the market may have a, you know, a quiet opening, a little dip on the opening. We'll see what that's all about. We might fight through some selling that could have accumulated over the weekend, and then we'll see if there's any lasting power behind that big power move we had Friday night. Well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. We uh, we came out of the, uh, as far as the Dow Jones is concerned, it came out of its doldrums just after about 11.15 this morning. Uh, the market was down a, a little bit, uh, not too much, and then it's uh, been powering up ever since. Right now, the, the Dow is up 267, which sounds great, but isn't really great. It's good, but not great. Uh, we um, are lagging. Uh, this this index is lagging the market, but there's a good reason for it. Uh, first of all, to look at the Dow, it's up 0.78 of a percentage point. The S&P is up 1.45%, and the NASDAQ is up 2.75%. The NASDAQ is the big one. It has been all day and consistently all day been doing well. Now, with the NASDAQ up 2.75% and the Dow up 0.79, let's call it 0.8, the Dow needs to go up two and a half times as much to equal the performance of the NASDAQ. That would be the equivalent of the Dow being up about 700 points right now, a ballpark, uh, just to kind of show you how well NASDAQ is doing. Now, the NASDAQ 100 is dominated by seven stocks. They make up half the index the FANG stocks and throw NVIDIA in there for fun and Tesla in there. Um, the other uh, 93 stocks, uh, which are the big disruptors, they make up the difference. Nonetheless, we are happy to see that the Dow just touched 35,000, which is the high of the day, uh, up 270 odd points. And it's nice to see the NASDAQ as powerful as it is. Keep in mind too, that the NASDAQ index was the index taking the biggest hit so far this month in January for the first month of the year, NASDAQ was off over 14 plus percent on uh, Thursday night for Friday's recovery and today's recovery. We have shaved off over 4% of the losses, maybe even 5% of the losses. If we hold this gain, we have an hour to go and we're not done yet. But uh, at this point, uh, instead of having the worst market since 2000 and uh, gosh, uh, going way back in time, um, the, this is the worst market um, uh, probably since 08 for the for a January. Anyway, the, the NASDAQ, it's bad, but it's not really bad. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. Uh, of course, starting tomorrow, Feb 1, uh, two things can happen. Well, three things, nothing, we just stay here. We go back down again, or we keep going higher. It's a question of just what is this mood of the market how are these earnings uh, going to keep performing? We've had now, um, we've had about 28% of the uh, S&P 500 report earnings. We still need 72 more. And that the, every day this week, a bunch of companies are reporting their earnings. So we'll, we'll see how this continues on. Um, and the earnings will dictate a lot to us just what this market is going to do the rest of this uh, week and into this coming month. Anyway, it's good. It, it looks very good. The oil is up. Uh, oil prices are up 124 a barrel at the moment. Um, a barrel of oil is 88.07. So there you go. And some of our favorite stocks, to give you an idea, we're, we're on a bit of a surge right now. The, the markets are on a bit of a surge. So the Rock, Rocket Lab right now, 907, just popped up a few pennies here, up 83 cents now. The high today, 916, and we are at 2.2 million volume on Rocket Lab. It's looking good. SoFi, $12.36, up 126 on the day with a high of 1249. That was around one o'clock, and we're kind of, you know, within 20 cents or so. Now we're only 13 cents away from a new high, 1236, 
up $1.26. Volume today, SoFi, 61.9 million. So very good. Uh, we're we're going to, we could do 70 plus million today again. And this time, this 70 million of buying is moving the market rather than 70 million shares of trading and it doesn't go anywhere. It goes down 50 cents. This is positive. Cross our fingers and hope for this trend to continue now. Uh, GameStop, 109.71 at the moment. Um, the high of the day right around here. We're just flirting with the highs of the day right now. 2.8 million volume. Not, not heavy. Um, you know, mediocre. Not even like great. It's okay. But it's certainly not dead. It's not like 1.1 million for the day or 1.2 million for the day. Yeah, we're going to do over 3 million today. And that's definitely better on the volume scale. That helps it. But we're going to need 4, 5, 6 million a day to get kind of keep this going. But we'll take this. Oh, yes, 109.20. Uh, is this stock on its way to 120 the way it's trading right now? Nope. Uh, but, you know, 110, 12, 15 might, might happen. On the other hand, we may have profit taking at any time. We just got to watch the computer programs on the Dow and everything else. There's a lot going on out there. All right. Other stocks we are following. Matterport is at the moment uh, right now 10 bucks. It was 9.99 a second ago. It's now back to 10. It reached 10.09 uh, around 11 this morning, maybe 12 o'clock Eastern, I should say. And then it uh, backed off to about 2, 9.72 at 1.30 Eastern time. And uh, am I right? Yeah, and here we are now at ten, uh, back to ten dollars a share, up a dollar forty-eight. Fantastic, thirteen point six million. Very good. Uh, so we've got volume. We were as low as eight fifty-eight this morning. Somebody sold it at eight fifty-eight this morning, uh, and here we are now at ten bucks. So we're we're definitely a lot better looking right now. Twenty-three and me. Uh, opened at $4.19 uh, today, $4.19 a share. Got up to uh, $4.63 today, just around uh, 1 in the afternoon. We're at $4.58, just a nickel away from the high of the day. Very good. 2.35 million volume. Perfect. Very good day today. And uh, we're, you know, we're just, we're improving nicely here. This, this is a good sign. This stock is through all its tax loss and there are no excuses for the stock to stay down here from a bunch of hedge funds trying to get out there are buyers trying to get in so well, let's see if this continues uh would sure love to see this back to 10 bucks a share we got a ways to go though spire now spire um opened up uh at around two dollars and 30 cents right off the mo first moments then we surged up in like a half an hour to two 54. Just around 10 something. We were at 254 and we've slowly given back. Uh, it's kind of like a like a table that is sitting like this. Uh, the table got the big got the corner here. The one leg here is, is is good, but the leg over here is shorter, and the table now is just tilted, and the stock has slowly come down. Until about the last 10 minutes, we were uh, down to uh, two dollars and 44 cents or something, 246, just a little, maybe we're going to bounce a bit. We're at 246 and a half, up 16 and a half cents after reaching 254. So yeah, we'll see if a, if a 10 cent spike comes from here. We may have the high of the day, 446,000 volume, not heavy, but a good day overall. ATIP, this morning we were down at 301. Then we ran it up to about, uh, at around uh, 12, 12 noon, we ran it up to 318. Um, and then up until 10 minutes ago, we were all the way back to 312, lost six cents. Now we're at 315. We're only three cents away from the high of the day on 515,000 shares. Looking good. It, it's going to have a good, looks like it's going to have a good day. That's ATIP. Smart Rent. Uh, is right now at 760 a share, which is a nickel below its high of the day, and it's been within a dime of its high of the day since one uh, said about noon today, just short of noon. We're at 758 up 60 cents on 468,000 shares. This is very good. So we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, be happy with that and look for more. 
And then on uh, Sextera, um, we're at 11.84. We're at uh, we're up 38 cents. The high today 11.95. So that's 11 cents higher than this. The all-time high for this stock 12 dollars 79 cents. So uh, we're we're doing great. I mean, this stock has weathered January very well overall. When you think about just what everyone else has been doing in January, we did bottom out. Though I will be fair. It was at 10.35 for the low in January the 18th. So, you know, what's that, 13 days ago? But only for a moment. And then it bounced back quickly to this, uh, you know, kind of 11.20 range. And uh, and now here we are at 11.80. So, um, oh, all in all, if every single stock we had performed like Sextera, we, we would not be near as upset as we are. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to keep coming on here. Um, quick other, quick update now on the Dow. We're still up 228 at 34,937, but we did touch 35,000. We've given up 60 points here in the last five minutes after touching 35,000. And we may, we'll see if we take another run at it. Uh, we'll watch that closely. I'm sure a bunch of computer cell programs kicked in as soon as we saw that round number. We'll watch how that reacts uh, between now and the bell. Okay. All right, other stocks we're following is AMC um, up 81 cents at 15.67. The high of the day on AMC was actually its very opening trade. We were as high as 16.25 on the opening in, in like a few minutes. And um, uh, no, no, I apologize. No, I'm wrong. I am completely wrong. I'm looking at, a, at the wrong chart. Let me try that again. Let me back that up. Ooh. AMC, okay, here we go. AMC is up 81 cents. That's a fact. It's trading at 1587. That's a fact. The high today was 1625. That is a fact. You cannot deny that. But that didn't happen right off the opening. That was about an hour and a half into the day. Um, and we were just around 1606 a few minutes ago. We've lost 20 cents in about three minutes. But this morning, just before 1, 11 o'clock, we did hit 16.25. The low was $15, and that was after the opening. So the stock went from 15 to 16.25 in an hour, and we've been hovering around this 15 something level. We're now 15.84. Volume on AMC, and this is the problem. And I've been talking about this problem for weeks. 35 million shares traded, 35 million, 280,000. The stock was trading. 500 million a day on the run-up, the big run-up to 70-something. And we're now 35 million shares to this point in the day. We'll be lucky to do 40 million. And that is not going to hold this market or run it anywhere. It's just going to kind of tread water. So just so you know, 1583 up 77. Good day today. But it's it's uh, it could be a buck 77 higher if it had some more volume. Robinhood up 96 cents to 13.68 after hitting a high of 14.50. We were in the nines a couple of days ago. Vanek is um, up 980. Vanek is um, Vanek Vectors the uh, the ETF 271.40. Um, low of the day was 261. That was the opening. Now 271. Who's complaining? We're up like 10 bucks a unit here. Did touch 273, but no complaints. A uh, uh, much better looking market. Home Depot cannot seem to break even today. There's like a wall stopping this stock. We're at um, 364 on the stock here. We're down 220 on the day. And, um, you know, it needed to get into that 366, 67 range. It couldn't do it. 366.60, that's still below the close of Friday. So it has not been able to hit a new high, even with the Dow doing as well as it is or as well as it was, because uh, the Dow now is down to 34,891. We've given up 109 points as I'm giving you a recap here. We're still up 162 on the Dow, but HD could not break into the into the positive territory today. It's down 230 at 264.24. Not a disaster. It's only down a couple of bucks on a three hundred sixty-four dollars stock. I mean, meh. but it just isn't taking pay. It's not joining the party over there at the Nakatomi Tower. Uh, IBM down a dollar ninety-two. It also has been in the red pretty well all day today. Uh, matter of fact, it has been in the red all day. One thirty-two fifty. The high was one thirty-four, 
and the low 132 or in this little lower band at the moment. Microsoft down a dollar. It's been wavering up a few bucks, down a few bucks, kind of hanging around. 307 had a big day on Friday. So, okay, it's holding almost all of that. Down only 94 cents on Microsoft. Apple up 250 to 172.90 after gaining 11 bucks on Friday, holding on and adding another two bucks today. Fantastic. Just fabulous. It's a 28.7 time earning stock right now. That's what its BE multiple is. It's fine. $2.8 trillion value. That's fine. Apple is doing well. Um, Goldman up four dollars nineteen cents at that three fifty one right now. The high of today three fifty three ninety four. We are trying to get back to three sixty on Goldman, where we're trying to come back. There's an upward bias on the stock, and so that's a good thing. And um, hopefully, we'll see it break through the three sixty seventy range. Maybe this week, we'll see. Okay, Cisco. Down 32 cents at 55.30, the high of the day, 55.78, only 40 cents higher than where it is. We haven't had much of a range here, 54.88 to 55.78, less than a dollar range on Cisco. We're just kind of hanging around the flat line. Facebook up $7.69 to 3.09. Amazon is up $83 to 29.63. Tesla up $77 today, 9.23 on Tesla. That's much better than the 800s. Um, Google up 23 bucks. Has not been a leader. It's been sort of kind of dragged around by everybody. It's up 23, not uh, going very far, but certainly not getting pummeled. A Bed Bath Beyond up uh, 64 cents to $16.17. BlackBerry up 21 cents at 809. They announced a $600 million sale of patents. Uh, 600 million cash and you know more cash in the bank is good but uh, blackberry is 808 they need cash flow they need to make money selling goods and services rather than just selling uh, patents off but it is what it is they're doing what they've got to do uh, maybe perhaps they're selling patents raising cash and they're going to do a takeover of something maybe that's the deal there they've got private companies lined up that they want to buy now they have the money to do it maybe that's it i don't know i can't tell you but that's something I would think would be going on if they're thinking of selling patents or patents are coming up for uh, uh, expiry in a certain number of years. And while they're, they still have value, move them now because you're not going to use them. Perhaps uh, there's, I'm sure, a lot of reasons what the, why they're doing what they're doing. But at the end of the day, 600 million in cash is in the bank here. Uh, the capital value, the market cap of BlackBerry, not that I follow it really closely, but the market cap of BlackBerry is $4.6 billion. We now know 600 million of the 4.6 is cash. Uh, I don't know how much else they had in cash, but um, you know they have a good cash position. Uh, Royal Caribbean uh, up $1.80 at $76.32. Norwegian's up 97 cents. Carnival up 55. Read something on Carnival saying that they're issuing 500 million worth of stock to, to buy back 500 million worth of stock. Something, I'm losing something in translation here. I don't know if there's a, uh, if these are our are, are founder shares, are they buying shares from one insider to coordinate? Like, I don't understand. There's somebody who wants out. So the company is finding someone to buy the stock by sponsoring a stock sale to then buy someone out. I'm lost. Uh, to me, I don't know why the stock is even up then. To me, the stock should be down if somebody want, an insider wants out. I don't know what's going on. Target uh, is up 124. JP Morgan up 94 cents. Costco up eight bucks to 500 a share. Walmart up 172 to 139. Nvidia up 1079 today. American Airlines up 58 cents to 16.22. Netflix holding a 36 dollar gain to 420. Snowflake up $15, DraftKings at $21.60, up $0.96. Cents. Moderna at $166.31, uh, up $6.84. So Moderna's holding a gain today. Uh, definitely, definitely got some improvement. Uh, Micron is up $1.26, and Intel's up $0.35. Cents. Over at Boeing, we heard today that Qatar, Qatar, Q-A-T-A-R, that airline is going to acquire 100 Boeing jets, um, 
They've won in a Katarian order for 737 MAX planes and the new 777s. $34 billion deal, apparently, uh, though hard to confirm that. Uh, the stock's up $7 to 197.66. So uh, a little bit of an improvement for um, Boeing, but they're still losing money right now, officially. Okay, there you have it. Those are the those are the markets. Now the Dow has backed off. It's still up 139. Um, it um, it had been as high as uh, 34,500 for the index. It's at 34,865. So 135 points have have come back off, but right now we're climbing again. We're now up 147 on the Dow. So if there was a computerized generated algorithmic cell program that kicked in it looks like that has ended and now the stocks seem to be coming back on a little bit we'll watch for that as we always do uh we've got um rocket lab under nine dollars we did get through the nine barrier for a brief moment in time the high today 916 we didn't quite make that we're at 890 right now on 2.3 million so we'll see if it ticks back up. SoFi is at twelve twenty one. GameStop one hundred six ninety six. It definitely backed off a few dollars. Um, it looks like it came back from one hundred nine to one hundred six. So now it's at one hundred seven. Matterport nine seventy six came under ten again. ME at four fifty two up thirty one. Spire uh, that little table now has a tail on it. It's now at two forty one up only eleven cents. So we'll see if there's any kind of recovery there. ATIP at 310 up 8, Smart Rent up 49 cents, Sixtera up 30. All of these stocks have a tail on them, including AMC, uh, Vanek Vectors, Home Depot dropped, um, IBM a little drop, Microsoft a little drop, Apple a little drop, Goldman a little drop. Everybody has a tail at the end of their chart here. Every single one of these stocks that I've quoted you. So this sell program affected everyone because everyone got whacked by a computer algorithmic cell program that just sold everything. Now the Dow, instead of being only up 120, 30 points, it's now up 152. So we seem to be recovering a bunch of these losses at the moment with now 48 minutes, no, 30, I'll get it, 38 minutes to go for something, 38 minutes, yeah, 38 minutes left in the day. So that's what's going on there. So there's a, a tug of war. We're now down, we're now up 167, 174 we're up now on the Dow. We're at 34,900. So now we're 100 points away from the high instead of only, uh, we were like 150 away. Now we're only 100 away. So it's coming up. Um, see what the, if any more sell programs come in here. Now 34,911, we're up 186 on the Dow. The NASDAQ still up 2.3%, up 322 points. The, the Dow would have to go up by a multiple of almost five. We would need eight to 900 points of gains to equal the NASDAQ performance today. So the Dow is the lagger the lagger by far. Uh, S&P up 1.17%. The Dow up 0.57%. Gain half a percentage point. There you go. Thank you all for being here. Uh, nice to see you. Um, uh, hi, Bruce. How well do you think upcoming Home Depot earnings will be considering supply chain issues? Catherine, this is the big question with Home Depot. They are a massive importer like Walmart and target and others and so we'll we're all going to watch the retailers closely but we'll forgive them uh believe me or believe it or not um you know hear me now and believe me later uh um home depot will be forgiven if they have supply chain excuses because they're so well run they keep their inventory at such a tight level um what you don't see at home depot stores is really rare the so-called bargain bin where they have like uh, odds and ends left over, very little of that. They rarely get stuck with product that they don't, that they can't buy, offload. Like they are, they are very good buyers of merchandise just on time for seasonality and so on. Um, and so um, uh, Home Depot is, is run very well. And uh, I don't know if, if we're going to get a, uh, even if we got a, a, I won't call it a nasty surprise. If if they don't hit their numbers, I don't think Wall Street will punish them very much because they respect their management to be such a well 
fine-tuned oil machine managers. They they really have it down pat. That I think the the the, head, the Wall Street guys will go. This is not a management problem. This is truly uh, supply issues, and and we're not going to punish the Home Depot for this. We're not going to slam the CEO and the the head of purchasing and the merchandising people. Nope, that's not going to happen. But well, well, we'll see. Uh, time will tell. All right. Uh, what else is going on here? Um, and um, uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's go. Um, this lack of GameStop swinging is boring today, says Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Well, you know, it's how the markets are sometimes. Uh, we're at 107.69 on the on the uh, GameStop now. Uh, hey, 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 Bruce, I just joined today, says Scott Navarro. Are you still doing the one-hour phone calls over the weekend? I, I still do one-on-one, -on -one, one-hour sessions uh, via um, video like this, uh, where you actually are here for on half the screen. Let's see if I get that right. There you you're you're here on half the screen and I'm over here on half the screen and it's a private chat between us so we can see each other and wave and and you know use our hand gestures to help explain what it is we mean. Uh, yes, I still do the one-on-one -on -one consultations. Um, generally I you, I offer them on Saturdays and Sundays in the mornings. Uh, um, so uh, 10 in the morning Eastern, um, noon um, Eastern time, and 2 o'clock Eastern time on both days. Um, so if you're interested in a, in a time session, uh, let me know. Uh, send me an email at my uh, email address, which should be below. It's bruceferomert at hotmail.com. I charge $400 an hour for a private consultation. And uh, I'm happy to uh, go over your situation with you. Yeah, let me know. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Yeah, it, Home Depot is good for dividends and good price movements too, actually. Um, and uh, what else is we what's going on here? Thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks to those of you giving me thumbs ups. Uh, Duncan, number one forty eight. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Um, what else are we at here? Uh, lots going on. Tons and tons and tons happening here. Uh, Redbubble has a sale, by the way. If any of you have an interest in anything to do with a logo on it from my channel or both channels, you can get your hands on uh, like coffee cups like this, to go mugs with all kinds of logos on it. You can get your hands on hats like this, or you can get uh, my Traveling with Bruce Anchor logo hat, TWB, if you want. Jen sees guys wearing the hats. She goes, hey, yeah, man, you guys are cute. Um, by all means, if you trust me, uh, you, you believe me, but you don't trust me, um, I have shirts, uh, you know, uh, in different colors, available, all that kind of stuff. So, hey, by all means, so head over to Redbubble and uh, they'll take care of you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for for your uh, support. Anyway, 15% off all T-shirts and hats and coffee mugs. They've got a sale. On, I guess Redbubble is celebrating their 15th year in business, and they're just giving a – they're doing a 15% discount. They handle all the orders. They handle all the shipping. They make the product. They collect the money. They get your address. I don't do anything. I just get a royalty. And uh, thank you, everybody, for helping out. Uh, amongst Great Danes says, I had a one-on-one -on -one with Uncle Bruce in the early days. I discussed stocks and many other topics, retail business, well worth the money. Well, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, and as, as Ed is stated, I'm still waiting to purchase GameStop back at 95 bucks. I'm just waiting, right? Is that what you think I should do? Yeah, I'd stick around. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, This stock, you know, the stock can swing $15 in an hour. I mean, it can do anything. Just, yeah, stick around. Um, you've got a contract uh, that expires this Friday or next Friday. We'll wait until Thursday of this week or next week and figure out what to do. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, wouldn't it be a good time for some margin calls right now on GameStop? <laughs> Larry, I'm, I'm thumbs up 166. Uh, there you go. Do you think it was the bottom, Bruce? What, do you think that was a... It's possible. Um, we're not through the worst of it yet. Well, let's put this way. We're not through all of it yet, and we're not through far enough through to know for sure. Um, it's possible that we had a blow-off that um, has been overcooked for a while, but it's also possible that we had a, a low and we're getting a, a couple of days of bounce back, and that can be like two, three, four, five days, 
and then we can falter and we can go down again and we can then test that low and if we hold it and bounce off the low area back up again to higher highs then we might be through it if we however you know run out of steam here today or tomorrow or wednesday and then we come back to those lows those index lows we might break through those lows and go to lower lows that would indicate we're not through it and then we'll go lower and then bounce off of that and then we'll test it again and this can take weeks and months or this can take you know two weeks it's all over like you know where we, we we had the drop in the middle of the month to the end of the month and then we run into february and all this cash is coming in as i've talked to you about before all this pension money is coming in in canada it's rrsp season registered retirement investment funds uh, all kinds of canadians who have their own self-administered rrsps they pour on uh, pour money into their rsps all into february before the end of february to get their write-off for 2021 billions tens of billions of dollars i mean if not hundreds just a ton of money comes in and that money goes to work uh pension funds around the world get get heavily funded up and the money's got to go somewhere and it goes into cheap stock sometimes and we've had we've got cheap stock here so maybe that's what's going to happen the dow now is up 206 at 9 34 9 32 we're only 68 points away from the high of the day on the dow so that's improving s p up 52 nasdaq up 335 up 2.4%. The NASDAQ is climbing again. Okay. Uh, what else is going on? Um, <clears throat> what? Can, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I trust you, I don't, but I don't believe you. That's why I keep myself in trouble. There you go. Um, Friday is job reports day. That's true. We'll see what happens there. Uh, tax return money is another thing that will possibly fund the market a lot depending on how much tax return money people get exactly. Um, we will look forward to that. Absolutely. Every year, you know, January, February, March, a lot of money comes into the markets. Remember sell in May and go away? The first five months of the year are the go months. So we'll see how much cash comes into this market here. And right now the prices are, you know, we're on sale. We've got stocks, comparatively speaking, the question now is what stocks do you get? What stocks do you avoid? Uh, what are the real bargoons and which stocks were overvalued and are now where they're supposed to be because they got shellacked. Some of these disruptors uh, that Kathy Woods follows, they're off 40-50%. Let's say they were off 40-50%. I don't know how they're doing today. Some might have recovered quite a bit. So we'll see what's going on. Um what a quink! What a quinky dink! Is interesting coincidence that Boeing announced the sale of a hundred planes. Biden meets with the Emir of Qatar. Um, he comes to Washington bearing good gifts. Um, we've ordered a hundred planes from Boeing, an American company. Hi, President Biden. How are you? Well, that's where you were warmly received in the White House when you order goods and services from American companies like that. Checks from Qatar don't bounce, by the way. They have a lot of cash, and uh, they are strong allies of America. So there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, uh, what else is going on? Uh, expect volatility until the Fed makes its first moves, at least. Uh, tax return money is coming. My bank account will thank me. There you go. We'll see how things go. Uh, we're about to hit 35000 again on the Dow. We're up 270 34,996 right now is where we're at with the Dow. We'll see if there's any more computer cell programs waiting at 35,000 to be instituted again, or will there be buy programs kicking in to run it through and beyond 35,000? I don't know. Uh, we'll be here to watch it. The high for the Dow has been in the last year 36,952. So we are still. 2,000 points away from the highs on the Dow. This is nowhere near a new record. We're just improving from a shellacking. And here we are now at 35,009. Uh, 35,011 is the high of the day. And we're at 35,009. And now 13, we've got a new high of the day happening on the Dow up to 88. We're up 0.83 of a percentage point for the Dow. NASDAQ is up 
percent, two percentage points better than the Dow. That is 700 points that the Dow is behind NASDAQ today to show you how powerful NASDAQ is running. It's really good. Over on, uh, over on um, uh, the, uh, the uh, Russell, let me take a look at the Russell 2000. We are showing it now up 29.9 points. Let's call it 30 points, one and a half percentage points. So it and the S&P both around one and a half percent higher are equal to, with each other. So the Russell is not a lagger today. It's the Dow that's the lagger. And hopefully the Russell will continue to strengthen. VIX is uh, uh, improved wonderfully today. Uh, the VIX is down to 24.97. That is down 9.7%. The fear index looks very good. The lower it goes, the better. Uh, so this, this market rally has got legs, power, and uh, momentum going in the right direction. So we're going to like that. Um, just going to take a look here at gainers and losers. On the Dow today, we have 2,400 advancing issues, 2,425, and 900 decliners with 108 unchanged. Uh, over on NASDAQ, 3,600 gainers, 1,100 decliners, 186 unchanged. Very good day. On the high lows for 52-week highs for the last year, the Dow is recording 24 all-time or new highs for the year, 109 lows for the year, where NASDAQ is showing 26 highs and 149, 194 lows. So we're still being outgunned by more lows, 52-week lows than highs, reflecting how much of a correction we've had in the last uh, month now and through tax loss selling as well. Advancing volume on the Dow, 2.5 billion. Declining volume, 800 million. That's very good. Uh, advancing volume on NASDAQ, 3.3 billion shares, at a declining 482 million. This is really a one-sided market here uh, going on right now on the, uh, on the markets. This is exactly what we want to see uh, on a recovery track. This is a strong recovery today, adding to the strong recovery we were getting on Friday. We like it, kids. And this is why Rocket Lab is at nine bucks, up 76 cents. SoFi, 12.36, up 1.26. We have 23 minutes to go. These markets are going higher. 108 on the GameStop right now. 107.90 up 9.99. Matterport 9.90 up $1.39 coming on again. ME climbing at 459, 460 up 38 cents. Spire looks like it's recovered the little dip it had here. 246, 247 up 16 cents. ATIP also coming coming back up at 313 now up 11. Smart rent coming back. It's up to 7. 54 up 56 cents and sextera definitely climbing 1192 up 46 cents uh we're only three cents off the high of the day on sextera on 239,000. so we're, we've got the right direction on our favorites uh amc is at 1586 up 80 robin hood up a dollar 12 to 1385 vanic up 1084 uh 272 very good Home Depot down only a buck seventy-five. IBM down only a dollar seventy. Microsoft now positive again. We've been fluctuating around this break-even line. We're up seventy-two cents on Microsoft. Apple up three forty-four at one seventy-three seventy-seven. Looks great. Goldman a three fifty-two eighty-six up five eighty-five. Thank you very much, Goldman. Keep on coming. Three fifty-three right now up six bucks on Goldman. We're climbing. Cisco down just a dime. Uh, Facebook up nine twenty eight. Amazon up ninety eight bucks. Tesla up eighty three dollars. Google up twenty eight fifty. So we've got a good run here uh, everywhere uh, with the Nasdaq absolutely leading the charge two point seven percent higher and not showing any signs of backing off. With that advance, the decline line way in the favor of advancers. We're going higher. Yeah, that's a good that that's a really good healthy market. Uh, we're down we're down to 21 minutes to go, and the day will be done today. It looks like a solid uh, looks like at the moment like a solid day. We'll watch it uh, as we come through. Okay, there it is. Now we need a few more days like this, don't we? Please uh, don't stop now. 
All righty. Politicians follow the money, and the U.S. Navy follows the ships full of oil. And uh, tell me the future, Uncle Bruce. SoFi coming on again, says Michael. Go Tesla, go NVIDIA. On the move, too. Credit Savage, last time Qatar and the United Arab Emirates were involved in one of our stocks, Matterport, it ran to almost 40 bucks. So for those who that know how valuable those countries are at investments, they are important. Um, a, a steady mystic, so far looks delicious. Thank you. I may have another. Uh, Nicholas, what do uh, what do we need to see in the last 30 minutes to believe that this run will continue? Just the, the advanced supply line, the advanced decline uh, ratio stays where it is, and advancing volume uh, decline, that is exceptional. That's what we want. We're happy about this. Uh, if the Dow can close above thirty-five thousand, that would be that would be helpful. But the Dow is not the leader; it's Nasdaq. If Nasdaq stays two point five percent plus or higher, we're going to love this. And you know, two point seven. I'm pleased. I'm pleased as punch. Alrighty, I'll be happy to get through February without a war. Uh, you know, just ten more weeks of this, and and there you go. Uh, Malo, I don't like all this green being in the red so long. This feels weird. Uh, Will, Bruce, I'm all smiles on this Monday. Maybe it's the sunshine, the driving range, or all of your hard work. Cheers to you. Let's go, SoFi. Right on, Will. Uh, I feel you, Marlo. It's it's definitely jarring to see all this green. Bobby, you can adjust your monitor color settings to make red if you want. You know, you can make green red and red green. You can always adjust your settings. Nicholas, I feel sorry for the poor seller who finally decided to part with their SoFi at 11.11 this morning. Uh, someone finally gave it up and said, ah, that's it. Uh, you can't go, go, uh, Goldman Sachs says can't, exactly. <laughs> I hear you. What a good day today. Uh, definitely a good day today. Uh, we're at uh, 34,990, up 264 on the Dow. This Rocket Lab is coming in here closer to 9 bucks, 896. Uh, SoFi, 12.32. GameStop 107.66, Matterport 980 up 130 a share, ME at 458 up 37, Spire 244 up 14 cents, uh, ATIP 300 uh, $3.12, $3 $3.13 now up 10 11 cents, Smart Rent 754 up 56 cents, nice percentage gain there, and Sextera up 41 cents to 11. 88 let's go goldman 353 42 up 640 apple up 376 microsoft up 95 cisco just down six cents that's all it is uh facebook up 970 amazon up 98 almost 100 bucks and tesla up 85 dollars to 932 google up 31 now climbing it's also climbing now all righty, we're, we're back to just about 35,000 on the Dow. We're just a fraction of a point below 35,000. And we've got, uh, looks like we're over it, and we're at, uh, we're up to 64-point uh, gain on S&P, and we're up to 383, 384 points gained on the NASDAQ with 18 minutes left in the day. So we're, we're, we're looking all right. Uh, I love green, I love red-green, great show. <laughs> Uh, credit, uh, Savage, for all of you guys uh, feeling bad for making a, a nice chunk of change in the stock market when lots of people work so hard, remember Goldman Sachs CEO just got a salary double, tens of millions, so get your fair share as well. Join this guy. Uh, get your piece of that action. I like that for sure. Um, those of you who've written calls today on GameStop, not to worry uh, if you're getting a nice fat premium. Thank you very much. These 105s, these 110s, you're getting Fat premiums above and beyond the price of the stock. Nicely done. Those of you who've got 95s written, 98s written, 100s written, not to worry. The stock doesn't seem to be taking off and away from us. Uh, it's possible that tomorrow morning we have a bit of a dip after an hour or so of continued euphoria. Then we're going to test our levels a bit. GameStop could easily run down to 100 to 98 uh, in the morning just to kind of test our uh, resolve. You might have flips on your contracts. You buy them back. You'll cash in with your stink bits, and then you'll sit back, do this. Stock wants to run again to 105, 110. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to write calls again, and away we go. Um, you know, that guy made more in, in one year than in my lifetime. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, Bobby, uh, maybe some will trickle down to me. BW Spire, you know who's your friend? $5 share price. That's who your friend is, Spire. You know who's more of a friend? Your $10 buddies up there. They're your best friends. Come on, get to go find your friends and take HIP and Emmy with you. It's your time. Let's go. There you go, BW. Those are that's a good motivational speech. 
for SoFi or not for SoFi for Spire and for ME and for ATIP. Head back to 10 where your real friends are. I like the sound of that. Yeah, that would be good. That would be really great. Take Smart Rand with you too. Credit Savage, I rather, uh, the, uh, what's that? The IT trickle down for me everywhere else. The Vilbus, Uncle Bruce, I wrote that uh, uh, February 11th, one fifteen, this morning, and I bought back for 160 buck profit. Uh, I wrote a new uh, February 11th, one fourteen for 665. I'm waiting for a little dip right there. Way to go, Vilmos. This you've got this going now. You're you're you've graduated. Um, a couple months ago, you weren't this confident. Now you know what you're. You're now understanding how this works, and you are becoming an option writer and trader. And uh, this is the way it's done, my friend. And uh, you know you do this all the time. And uh, you, at the end of the month, you you add up your winners and losers and. You're winning. That's nice. It's nice. Well done. Keep it going. Uh, the Dow up to 35,010. We're up 284 on the Dow. Rocket Lab at 901. SoFi 1235. The high on SoFi today, 1249. We have a volume of 68.1 million with uh, 15 minutes to go here right now on the day gamestop 107.84 up 993 matterport uh 982 up 130 me at 458 up 37 cents the high of this one 463 we're just a nickel away from the high of the day again 2.59 million on me spire up 15 cents atip up about 11 Smart ran up 58 cents to 757 high of 765 we're just near the high here on a bunch of our stocks, six era up eleven up to 1185. Go baby go. Goldman's 353.19 up six dollars eighteen cents. Let's roll this puppy. Come on, man. Let's rock and roll. Uh speaking of Spire, Uncle Bruce, <clears throat> where the heck did the hundred million from Exact Earth Merger go? Did he just filter it in when it was down under three bucks the entire time? Who knows? You know, you could be right. It, it could well have been that in the last month, a bunch of dough has come into the Spire stock to just take out a bunch of sellers. And it's just been a slow, quiet turnover without any fanfare. And today is the first day we're seeing Spire kind of do something, uh, you know, and there's not a lot for sale all of a sudden. Maybe that's it. I, I really don't know. Uh, I can't <clears throat> I can't be sure, but I wonder... If these uh, people who sold out uh, for this cash <clears throat> in Canada had to wait now until 2022 to start buying for tax reasons, maybe, you know, they had a tax situation over there and now it's a new tax year and they can position. I mean, I, I can't tell you. I don't know. All righty. Um, uh, who's this here? Um, Klein, Klein Jr. Klein, Klein Jr. Uh, Five dollar donation. Thank you. Uh, hi Bruce. Should we use this Green Day to write Matterport and SoFi covered calls? If not, when should we do it? Uh, I would not be writing uh, covered calls on these guys down here at all. No. Uh, what you want to do is is just sit tight, hold these stocks, let them continue their continued capital gains because these two are the most likely former SPACs that aren't at 20 to get to 21st. Um, SoFi has a million reasons, if not billions of reasons, to go to 20 and beyond because of the bank charter. Matterport, <clears throat> you know, this was a $37 stock not too long ago, so to get back to 20 is do very doable for Matterport. Just let them run up. You don't want to write options now because if you're going to write options now, you're going to have to worry about rollovers. You're not getting much in the way of premiums. It's just not worth it. So sit tight, let the capital gain uh, run happen here, and let's hope it's the real deal. So far now, twelve forty, right at this moment, we're nine cents off the high of the day as we're climbing at the end of the day here, sixty-eight and a half million. It's just obvious to me that SoFi is running out of paper down here. There's just there used to be tens of millions available all day long, and it's it's gone. It's not here. Uh, Matterport, a dollar thirty-five gain to nine eighty-six. You know, let's put three or four solid days together. If that's what we get, we're going to get. And we're talking $15, $17 in no time with both of these guys. And we're within, you know, spitting distance of 20. And then get ready. 
We'll see. Um, drops, not selling Spire, double down last week. Uh, DM, um, GameStop, FTD data is out. Failure to deliver data is out on GameStop. 373,700 shares failed to deliver from October, uh, from Jan 1, 22 to Jan 14, 22. Classic. Very interesting. We'll see how that reacts, how this, you know, works out. 108.17, up 10 bucks today on GameStop. Give us 10 days in a row, and we're talking $208 a share. Uh, we'll do rollovers. No problem. We'll do rollovers. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Cheers, everybody. Let's make money. Look at that Dow now, 35,081. <clears throat> we're up 356 points on the Dow. We got a surge coming in again a big one that outdid this computer cell program there. That just is a history. That's history now. Look at the NASDAQ up 433. We're up 3.1% on the NASDAQ. We're only up 1% on the Dow. The Dow is one third of NASDAQ's power. This means the Dow should be up almost 1,200 points today. It is lagging. The amount of money that is coming into NASDAQ is serious money here. We have got people... Uh, we've got institutions and investors jumping in now going, okay, it's the real deal. That This recovery is coming on. This stock market is, it, it, this isn't just a little, you know, little dead cat bounce. There is serious money coming in here. We're up 433 on the NASDAQ, 77 on S&P, 381 on the, on the Dow. Thank you very much. Michael says, SoFi popped. Well, 1243, uh, going for that high today. GameStop 10847, Rocket Lab 904, Matterport 988, trying to get back to 10 in nine minutes, not a problem, could be done. 462 on ME, we're popping, uh, we're pushing the high of the day of 464 around. We're only two cents from the high of the day on ME. Look at that, we could have a new high of the day on ME. Aspire 246, up 16, ATIP 315. The high of the day, 318. We're pushing that one around now. Look at that. We'll like, we like it. We're at 760 on Smart Rent, up 62. And look at Sixtera, 1196, up 50 cents. The high of the day, 1197. We are pushing all the highs around on our favorites. This is good stuff. Goldman, 354. Pushing 355 now. We might we might make it up 760 on Goldman Sachs. Apple up 376, almost up four bucks. Microsoft up almost two dollars. It's climbing quickly. Cisco climbing. It's green up 11. Facebook up 11 bucks. Just added two more dollars. Amazon up to 107 gained. That's an eight dollar gain in the last 20 minutes. Uh, Tesla 80, 82 dollars and Google up 40. It's climbing. It's well. It's coming to the party, pal. They're all coming to the party at the Nakatomi Tower. Uh, 35,113 on the Dow. We couldn't hold 35,000 15, 30 minutes ago. Now it's blowing through it. We're almost up 400 on the Dow here. We are coming on. 429 gain on NASDAQ. Go, baby, go. Let's run this puppy. So far, 1246, high of the day, 1249. We're just under it. We've got seven minutes to go. Let's run this thing. Uh, come on, babes. Let's make it happen. Nacho Concern, number 199 on the thumbs up meter. Thank you, everybody. We are trying to break through 200. Can we hit 250, 300 thumbs ups today? That would be absolutely wonderful. We've got 204 thumbs ups. Keep them coming, kids. Thank you. Um, you know, every three months, that's why every three months, GameStop pops, and they have to eventually buy back the shares, says DM. Uh, damn it, Jim says, my stocks are up. What happened? Uh, Nicholas, uh, 2,000 likes. Algorithm is bullish for Uncle Bruce. That would be all right. Uh, 2,000 likes. I haven't had that in a long time. Uh, <laughs> damn it, Jim. You're, you're dreaming. Uh, Drops is saying, damn it, Jim, you're having a nightmare. Go back to sleep. You know what you're talking about. Uh, damn it, Jim. I don't even remember drinking today. <laughs> That's the thing. You don't remember the drinking. Oh, no. We're up 395 on the Dow, baby. Come on, let's rock this puppy here. We're up to 906 on Rocket Lab, up 82 cents. SoFi 12, 46, up a dollar 35. GameStop up 11 dollars, 108.98. Let's go GameStop. Matterport 978 up a dollar 26. 
ME461 up 40 cents. Spire up 17 to 247. ATIP 315 and a half up 13 and a half. Smart Rent up 62, another penny. And we're up 52 on Sextera, 11.98. We're pushing $12 on Sextera now. AMC up 95, Robinhood up $1.35, Manic up 12.66. Home Depot is green. It's green. Home Depot is up 76 cents. It finally broke the line. IBM only down a buck seven. It's coming on. Microsoft up 281. Apple up 440. Goldman up eight bucks. Two, three fifty, four fifty-five. We're trying to hit 355 on Goldman in the last five minutes. We're coming on here. Cisco up six. Facebook up eleven. Amazon up 108. Tesla up 86 bucks to 932. Google up 41 cents. Go, baby, go. We've got gains, gains, and more gains. Money is coming in. Love it. Thank you, everybody. Uh, remember, everybody, thumbs up for Bruce. Thank you, everybody. Alberto, I'm here. Uncle, did you miss me? Always, always, always. Let's go. Um, Mikey, um, weird color on my screen today. I drew it on with red Sharpie, and now it looks normal. Uh, B. Fitz, Bruce, how is it that everything pops so high all on the same day? How do funds, big investors, how do they know that, okay, Gen 31, we're pumping money into the market? I, I just get the impression that we were oversold last week, Monday. Uh, that was when it started. I've been yelling at this screen, oversold, 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 average down, get your deals you know, while they're available. It took four days until Friday, until the market got it. And then it, it was so evident with these bars with these resistance levels and support levels, thousand point recoveries and all this stuff. Here we go. The money, there's too much money on the sidelines that doesn't want to go into bonds. It doesn't want to go into bonds and pull in a half a point interest, 1% interest. It doesn't want to, do, it wants to get real returns. Stock market, that's where we're at. We're oversold here. Oh, are we having fun or what? Uh, cowbells are going amongst Great Dens, uh, Great Danes. SoFi, can we hit 1250? 1248 right now. SoFi just hit the high of the day. Look at that. We did it, 1250. I love it. 70 million on the last three minutes. Uh, Auntie, I missed you, Uncle. Uh, 1249.5. How about that? Yep, buying a dip and loving it. Uh, that's what we got going. Rocket Lab 907, Dow's up a 405 now. GameStop up 1084, Matterport 969, still up 118. ME 464, uh, up 43 cents. This is uh, two pennies from the high of the day. 2.8 million on ME, we're coming on. Spire up 17, ATIP up 13, Smart Rent up 69 cents to 768. Another high of the day on Smart Rent, 605,000. We're at the high of the day. And ATP, uh, sorry, not that, six era, 11.97, just three cents from 12 bucks. Nice. Yeah, those algorithms are, are coming in on buy orders. 409 now on the Dow, a gain of 409, uh, SP up 82, and NASDAQ up 464, 3.37%. The Dow is 800 points behind NASDAQ today. So NASDAQ is leading the way and not looking back. It continues on. Thank you, Apple and Microsoft, for these uh, returns. Uh, we're back on here. People are going into these stocks going, no, oh, no, no, this is where I want to be. This is where I want to be. These guys are making more money. Indeed. Uh, very good. Very, very good. Uh, what a day. 419 now on the Dow as we're continuing to grow. In the last two minutes, the, uh, the momentum is accelerating even higher. It would appear to this layman here, this old crotchety old man <laughs> we got a good day today finally uh you don't you all deserve it uh you've all been just plugging along here hanging on and just tolerating me telling you it's going to be all right uh, we just need a few more days like this to really start having an impact on our portfolios michael says it just doesn't want to hit 1250 that's all right it doesn't matter it'll go to 13 14 tomorrow it doesn't matter He'll go. Uh, get up, SoFi says, uh, Auntie. Uh, it did touch 1250. That is true. It did say. Uh, 1248 up, 138 on SoFi. Volume now, 70.8 million. Can't stop the volume now. This is good. A good sign. 108.99. Looks like 109 on GameStop. Up 11. One minute to go. Uh, Larry, I, 
yeah, I wish you could delay it, but I understand you have to do what you got to do. Schiff was pushing pushing buy value stocks. Uh, Michael Anti, no one one two four nine point five. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, we take what we get and we keep running. Look at ME four sixty five, uh, just around the high of the day right now. This is the high of the day here four sixty six on ME the high of the day. Uh, 2.9 million looking great better 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 keep it coming man i want more larry there it is thanks buddy uh appreciate the bells uh very good nice to see them all and uh great uh, a great interesting day here today um across the board uh four uh, it appears to be a 406 gain on the Dow. Uh, hard to say. We'll wait for the final uh, adjustments to go through. 904 on Rocket Lab. Uh, I think we're at 1248 on SoFi. Um, GameStop 10884. Matterport 973. ME 467. Another penny. Up 46 cents. Right on. That's a 10% gain. Spire 249. We came on at the end here with a little pop. And uh, we're within a nickel of the high of the day on 672,000. We got down to uh, like 240 with about an hour to go on Spire. And then it popped up nine cents right through the last hour. So we're happy. Um, ATIP at 317. Um, one and a half pennies from the high of the day of 318 and a half. 664,000. Keep it coming, ATIP. Keep us going. Smart rent 772 up 73 cents. That's the high of the day on 648,000. Definitely went higher. Um, and Sextera 1197 here. It touched $12 today. It touched it. So, okay, the high is in the 12. So we're, we're moving up. Uh, AMC managed to break $16 and hold it. 1606 up a dollar on AMC. But the volume of only 40 million uh, still is disturbing. If this were to, to start trading 100 million a day, this could run to 2025. But uh, we're 60 million short, and it's it just doesn't have the horsepower. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, Robinhood 14.15 up a dollar 42. Uh, Vanek up 13.71 to 275. That's that's around the high today. Home Depot up 57 cents. Held a gain. IBM only down 93 cents. It came back a bit. Uh, Microsoft, 272 gain to 310, almost 311. Apple up 445 on top of the $11 the other day, $15 in gains, 174.78. Very good. Uh, very good. Uh, writing options at 175 to 180, not a bad idea. Goldman Sachs, uh, 354.98. Nice up, but uh, up nicely today. Cisco up six cents to fifty-five sixty-seven. Facebook up eleven fifty-five to three thirteen. Amazon up a hundred and eleven ninety-one, almost a hundred twelve dollar gain to twenty-nine ninety-one. We're trying to get back to three thousand on Amazon. Tesla up ninety bucks to nine thirty-six seventy-two. Google up forty-eight dollars to twenty-seven thirteen. Bed Bath Beyond up seventy-one cents to sixteen twenty-four. BlackBerry thirty-five cent gain, eight twenty-three. Royal Caribbean up three thirty-two to seventy-seven eighty-four. Norwegian up one twenty-six. Carnival up eighty-three cents to nineteen eighty. Target up two eighty-one. J.P. Morgan up one ninety-eight. A Costco up twelve seventy to five oh five. Walmart up two twenty-eight to one thirty-nine eighty. Nvidia up sixteen forty to two forty four. Disney up a uh, uh, four thirty one. Uh, eBay up two fifty. Twitter up two twenty four. Uh, what else going on? American Airlines up eighty three cents. Netflix up forty two bucks to four twenty seven. Snowflake up twenty two. Um, we've got Moderna up nine eighty six to one sixty nine seventy. Moderna is plotting a recovery here. It is slowly but surely coming back, little by little. It's got a ways, ways, ways to go. But this is a definite improvement on that 139 price, just under 140 last week. We're now at 169, 170 practically. Okay, uh, 10 bucks a day on Moderna. That will make a lot of people happy, I'll tell you that. Uh, Workday up. 
1480, DoorDash up 980, Airbnb up 11. These are the disruptors that Kathy Woods is into. They're all climbing nicely at the end of the day. Intel up a buck, uh, came on strong at the end. Micron up $3, it came on. Coinbase up 1250, it came on today. Uh, Boeing, of course, gained 960 because of that jet order. So we've got uh, even Kathy Woods' uh, uh, innovative uh, fund would have been up today. Let me take a peek if I can uh, on uh, on uh, my uh, on my uh, thingy here. Hang on, I got this thingy over here. Uh, don't mind me and my thingy. Uh, see if I can get my thingy to show me uh, just what happened here. Do I have it? Um, um is it uh maybe not there maybe over here isn't it a r k k is that the symbol of that uh, uh innovation yeah the arc innovation etf that kathy woods runs closed out today at 75.32 up 641 that's a 9.3 percent gain today the low on this fund last week 64.35 she's back to 75 bucks so yeah, uh, you know, eleven dollars on sixty-four. That's a big uh, turnaround here. Not quite twenty percent, but eighteen percent improvement already. Uh, she's sitting on her her top picks, her stock, her talk stocks, the top shares she's got: Tesla, big day today; Roku, Teladoc, Zoom, Coinbase, Unity Software, Spotify, Twillow, Exact Scientist, U, UiPath. Yeah, she's had a, uh, a a turnaround today that didn't hurt one bit. So thank you, NASDAQ. I'm sure she's thanking NASDAQ. And I think that she is uh, absolutely committed to just keep right on going. Um, she will not buckle. She knows what she wants to do. She has conviction in the disruptors because she knows the new world. She knows that we're in a new world. And whether the interest rates go up or not, doesn't matter. The new world is here to stay, and that seems to be the dealio. Uh, we had the VIX close at 25. Uh, that was a 9.6% improvement. That's very good. That causes markets to go higher. And uh, we had the Russell 2000 gain 51 points. Uh, that's a 2.6% gain, better than S&P, better than Dow, just behind NASDAQ. NASDAQ was up 3.1%, Russell was up 26 and that is why we saw gains on all of our stocks uh, today. With the Russell and the NASDAQ climbing like that, uh, they're, taking us, uh, they're taking us for the right, uh, absolutely, okay? I'm a happy guy, uh, good stuff, okay. Now, remember, we are going to have a test of these improvements. Now we may keep rallying a little longer because of the way oversold situation we were in. We might go yet higher again, but it could be that we start getting to the point where some stocks will test their new levels and retest lows, some will not, we'll find out. So don't think this is a straight shot right back to happy land. We have got work to do. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, Larry's asking, did you have a good day, kids? Uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's go on here. Um, I need a good week. Uh, I've been tricked this month already, says Bobby. Um, SoFi up 12%, says Nicholas. I'm up 13%. I, I might be a tad over leveraged. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, somehow it feels like a good start to the week, says Splair. There you go. Um, all righty. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Credit Savage. Today was a good day. Now, if we can please have 30 straight days like today. Oh, gosh, God. Bobby, 11.52% in uh, PL. Bring on Tuesday. Beach Boy. Hi, Uncle Bruce. What do you think? When I when should I consider rolling over my GameStop 115 February's written for 575 and my February 110's written for 945? You don't want to do a thing right now. You want to sit tight and just sit back, cross your arms, and just see what this market is going to bring us. Uh, GameStop has a lot of work to do to consolidate these prices. We did touch the low of 80 something a share. Uh, 
at one point uh, in the last week and a half. And we've been in this 90 to 100 range quite a bit. And, uh, you know, now here we are, 1 to 110. We've got uh, some some uh, curing to do. Uh, we got to cure this thing out. So uh, do nothing. Uh, you've got two very good uh, uh, call positions written there. One for Feb 11. That's not this Friday, but next Friday. The other one for Feb 18. Very good. Uh, there's no need to do any rollovering whatsoever. What we want to see now is just how do we start tomorrow morning for the market as a whole? How does GameStop react? If GameStop itself does say something, we all know that if they talk and they say the right words, uh, then we may see the stock take a shot. But you know what? We have to see it to believe it, don't we? So right now we're on our own. And uh, don't be surprised if tomorrow it's possible we have a bit of an up opening. We might. We might have a consolidated uh, tentative opening on the market, so we might be down a bit. So GameStop might be the 11012, but it might also be down to 1102. And so the dip will give you the opportunity to cash in, stand by, put in some stink bids, absolutely have stink bids in there before the market opens tomorrow. The pre-market will give us an indication of the potential direction of the market as well. Um, but if the market wants to open higher, let it. Let it. Just let the let the stock go up to 112, 115 on games. So let it go. Let it go. Do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, this stock has to show us uh, quite a bit of power, and we need volume. Uh, we're not yet getting GameStop volume that's telling me, oh, we're into the promised land here. Uh, today, 3.3 million. Not enough. Anyway, that's where we're at. We're down 37 cents in the aftermarket. We're just hanging around 108.80 here. No problem. Uh, let's let the stock do its thing. Uh, 108.89. <clears throat> we'll see tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, Credit Savage. I love how Business Insider has an article saying, I'm a millenn millennial tired of sinking my time and energy into stocks. So I will be investing in mutual funds and ETFs. You, you, you hear that, Bruce? Uh, you know, these guys don't know what they're talking about. <clears throat> they don't get it. Uh, they, they seem to not understand the new normal that we've come into uh you millennials and and you uh gen y's and x's and all the other I, I, you know whatever whatever you're called you guys are a whole different group of investors that have never had like i was offering in the 80s you've never had a financial advisor and you're not going to get one you're never going to get a financial advisor until you have a half a million to a million under admin then someone will talk to you you're on your own, and you guys have a tool at your disposal. It's one of these things right here that allows you to build your own ETFs and your own mutual funds and your own hedge funds. Because what these uh, businesses, these business magazines, what these guys don't get is you guys do due diligence that was never done before by investors. Uh, investors used guys like me to do due diligence. So what you're able to do today is, for example, I just rattle off to you guys the top 10 holdings that Kathy Woods has in her innovative fund, her, 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 her ETF. You know that if you've got $200 and no more than that, you got a couple of hundred bucks and you open an account at Robinhood or Fidelity or Schwab or wherever, <clears throat> you can take uh money and put it into the same stocks that she buys because you can go online and you can look up her fund and it'll show you all the stocks she's got and what percentage of the fund is in each of the stocks you can then take your calculator and say oh okay seven and a half percent of all the money she has is in tesla i'm going to take seven and a half percent of the money i've got let's say you've got a thousand dollars to make this an easy example you got a thousand cash you open up a new account and you're going to take seven and a half percent of the thousand dollars and buy tesla with it that's 75 bucks with a tesla you enter the order with uh, Robinhood, and 
you got your you got seven hundred percent seventy five dollars of Tesla. Now you notice, oh Roku, I need fifty five dollars of Roku. You enter an order for fifty five Roku. Oh, I need Teladoc. I need forty two dollars of Teladoc. You buy that all the way down the list for the top whatever you want to work with you might pick off maybe the top 10 or 15 stocks she's got that'll cover up maybe seven eight hundred dollars of the money the rest you'll put into GameStop or SoFi or whatever you want right now you've got in effect a majority of her innovative fund in your platform trading account right here it's right there and you're going to every month put in five hundred dollars into your account as you save up and grow it out guess what you're gonna do you're gonna take a look at her fund every month and go oh well she now has eight percent of her fund in uh, Tesla well I'll take eight percent of five hundred dollars forty bucks and I'll buy forty dollars with a Tesla this month and I'll buy twenty bucks worth of this one and fifteen of that one and thirteen of that one and I'll respend the money every month as my own manager of my own ETF. I run my own ETF through a platform. I don't need to buy a mutual fund through anybody. I don't need to buy an ETF through anybody. I, can, I make my own ETFs. How about that idea? That's what's happening with a lot of you players out there. Now, not necessarily the 400 watching me this second, but people watching this on a rerun perhaps. You might know people that do this, that uh, are kind of your age or younger than you, a little older than you. You're doing this yourself. What do you need a mutual fund for to do it for you? Those days are over, man. They are so yesterday. Mutual funds are losing assets. ETFs are growing assets. And the platform, trading platforms are growing overall. Maybe not Robinhood is growing, but others are. And you guys are here for the long haul. And this is what these so-called professionals in New York keep blowing. They keep missing missing the point. They think you're a one-month wonder trader. They think you're a one-year attention span wonder trader, and then you're gone, and you'll never come back because you've lost all your money, your dumb money. No, you're not. You're buying Apple. You're buying IBM. You're, you're buying stock. You're buying, you're doing poor man covered call strategies with me. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to disappear. You're going to make money. Uh, that's what you're here for. You're here to study. And some of you have taken the philosophy that I'm going to put 10 grand into this market over over the year. I'm going to put in 800 a month, 800 a month, every couple of weeks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks, 200 bucks. I'm going to put 10 grand together and I'm going to invest that money and I'm going to study and I'm going to listen to Bruce and I'm going to take his courses and I'm going to say, this is your university program. You've decided to take a college course with good old Uncle Bruce and it's the cheapest college course you've ever been offered in your lifetime. Because once I get a lesson number 11 up tomorrow or Wednesday, you can only spend $1,100 on my courses. That's all you can spend is 1100 bucks. There's only 11 of them. You can't spend $60,000 in tuitions and overheads to, to learn what I'm trying to teach you guys. You're getting smarter. You're getting more confident. You're getting calmer. You're not as panicked as you used to were, as to used to be. You used to be just basket cases when the markets were dropping 200 300 points now you're calm now you've been around the block a little bit now you understand how volatility works you're looking at the big picture now and you're taking the long-term view because the markets aren't a one-day trade the markets are a lifetime of investing welcome to the real world this is what these outfits don't get you get these uh, so-called outfits that are the experts in measuring market behavior and stuff and i get it if you uh know someone who blew their brains out uh, lost 10 grand in the market lost 50 grand 100 grand you know whatever because they took a shot or they listened to a friend or they thought they had a hot tip all this crap yeah there's always those stories out there but i gotta tell you that out of the tens of millions of new accounts that have been opened up around the world not in pittsburgh not in pennsylvania not in the u.s i'm talking the globe most of these folks are really being careful about it because they are afraid of making a mistake and they're looking for guidance to figure out the right way to do it others 
Yeah, they opened an account and they lost a couple of thousand bucks and then they kept putting money in and now they're much more cautious. They learned their lesson and now they're taking the longer term approach, which they should have done at the beginning. It's okay. You learn it as you go. Others, uh, they started cautious and are staying cautious. And there you have it. Welcome to the world. I think it's going to be great. Uh, credit, thank you for that. Um, yeah, uh, the Credit Savage says uh, uh, this philosophy of money, they think we're sheep going to the slaughter. There you go. I hear you there. Um, what else is going on here? Uh, uh, where am I right now? Hold on a second. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Sony is buying Bungie for $3.6 billion, if anybody cares. Uh, trying to keep up with MS, maybe. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, Yes, Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, let's go. Let's go. What else we got going on? Mirko, hey, Uncle Bruce, I bought a GameStop. Um, I bought a GameStop 75 June 17. I bought a GameStop June. Oh, okay, and sold a 115 Feb against combined premium of $37. I'm a bit higher than 90, 10 between strikes or 40. What do you think about that? Well, um, you know, you get higher premiums also writing, so that might be a bit of a compensation, but you got to be careful not to lose too much on that on that first contract. But uh, good luck to you. Yeah, look, hey, uh, you wrote a 115. Uh, the stock backs off to 100 tomorrow. Buy back out. Thank you. Score the dough. Score the dough. All righty. Um, what else? Um, I pray GameStop will announce a dividend to their stock. I, I don't see a dividend coming on the stock. Uh, they've surprised me before, but I don't expect that. Um, um, uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, talking, talking, talking here. Oh, uh, Chris, oh, I know Uncle Bruce. I was being a smartass because they are thinking we're stupid. We have access to more information than ever before. Why the heck would I take 4% when I can uh, wreck it for 40% return on year? There you go. Um, there you go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, yes, uh, and I can buy the same stocks that Kathy has, and I can write covered calls on those same companies, and I will not just make money without paying her a fee, but I'll make more money on covered calls I write. There you go. Exactly. Uh, you'll buy 100 shares of some of these stocks and write options, or you will buy deep in the money calls on a bunch of the Kathy Woods disruptors and write covered calls against those. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Um, and uh, credit centers. I guess my point was that these insiders think we're stupid and some say, even say we have just a little bit of money, yet they're begging us to go and invest in their firms and do business with them. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, the whole Wall Street lack of understanding of millenni millennials, Gen Z as a whole, is what will ultimately lead to their demise. I can't wait. There you go. Um, let's see. Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to get more lessons real soon. Looking forward to learning more from you, Uncle B. Chris Savage, Uncle Bruce, if anyone ever asks me what my qualifications for trading are, I will say I worked for a small firm called Dodge and Cox before. But better yet, graduate from the, un the Uncle Bruce University of Investments. <laughs> We're earning our stripes, uh, as uh, Bruce would say. There you go. Uh, there you have it right there. Well, what a day today. Up 406, looks like on the Dow. The Rocket Lab closed at 904. It's now 908 on the aftermarket. SoFi closed at 1248. It's 1245 on the aftermarket. GameStop was 108.93. It's 108. 30 right now down 63 cents Matterport at 973 is now 972 ME 467 is 467 no change on ME uh, Spire 249 is 249 on the aftermarket ATIP 316 at the end of the day 316 on the aftermarket the smart rent 768 is 768 the same uh, Sextera 1197 is 1197. So we're not going anywhere at this point. We're holding our gains, not giving anything back. We're going to see how things go tomorrow and we'll see what happens and we'll follow it together. Join me tomorrow morning, 830. Or if you're a gold bagel member, become one immediately and join me on the pre-market show so we can, uh, I can fill you in on what to look for 
right off the hop and you can figure out some of your stink orders. Thank you all of you for joining me with that program and being here on this show. Appreciate it. Thank you for those of you who have been picking up our lessons, the lessons on my website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca. Thank you for all that. <clears throat> Join me tomorrow, and let's see if we can make some more money with another up day tomorrow. Wouldn't that be great? I uh, would love to see how that plays itself out. It could be most interesting. In the next a few hours, 7 o'clock Eastern, I'll be live on Traveling with Bruce for members of that channel. And at 8 o'clock, I'm live for the whole world to join in on the big show on Traveling with Bruce. We're going to talk travel tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern time. You're welcome to join me then and say hi to the gang over there. In the meantime, everybody, you take care. Have a great night. Stay healthy for me and uh, be good and uh, join me tomorrow for more fun, fun, fun. Hopefully another big day tomorrow. We'll see how the markets want to take it and we'll figure out how we make money tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have a great day and a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.